Hey, Mary Snow volunteers. This is the first video in our value series. We're going to be releasing videos over the next few weeks to talk about the top five Mary's home values, just to keep us all connected during this time where we're all virtual and also to provide some training for our volunteers on what are the values at Mary's home? What do we believe in? And first I want to address why we love values at Mary's home. It's because there are scenarios that come up that we don't know how to respond to. Maybe something happens on campus and you don't know how to respond to it. You were never trained in your volunteer orientation, how to handle that. Or a mom says something to you and you're like, uh, no idea how to respond. So values provide us with the language and the context for what's important at Mary's home. And we can therefore respond in a scenario based on our best judgment and what we know is important at Mary's home, even when there's no rule about how to respond. So many of you know that of the backgrounds of the Mary's home moms, many of them come out of domestic violence. Many of them come out of unstable childhoods where they were not safe. They have not been safe. They and their children have not been. So safety is our number one value. This means both physical and emotional safety. I'm going to give you a couple practical examples of what this looks like at Mary's home. First, last year in a Mary's home academy class, teaching team was just teaching away and they noticed, oh my goodness, there's a man from the news outside the FLC with a camera or a video. He's taking some kind of image or video of the students during class. And so of course the students are like, oh my gosh, and they start to feel really unsafe. So what did the teaching team do? Well, immediately one of them got up, she drew the shades so that that man could no longer be taking the pictures or video, and she exited the building and said, hello, nice to meet you. Can I introduce you to Mary's own staff member? You're from the news, okay, awesome. And the other teacher continued teaching and reassured the students. So they immediately took control of the scenario and they reinforced a safe environment for the families. That, that was perfect, they handled it so well. Second example, hospitality team. You guys do this all the time. You are a welcoming, friendly face in the Family Services Center at the front desk, but you're also a gatekeeper. So if somebody comes in and they're just like, I don't know about Mary's home, tell me about it. Can I see it? Can I look around? You're not just gonna be like, welcome, and just kind of let them in. You are gonna be very attentive to, is this person a threat? And also, no, actually, we're not an open facility right now. If you're not here for a meeting, uh, I can give you a brochure, and it was nice to meet you, and then kind of let them go. And so you're always keeping safety in mind. Third example, the spiritual tone that we set at Mary's home is so important. Imagine what it would be like to be a Mary's home mom, to be completely unchurched, unfamiliar with Christianity, which is many of them, not all of them, and to come and to see worship music playing on the TV and to see all these volunteers who love Jesus and see all these staff members who love Jesus. It'd be kind of a foreign experience. So, you know, the family support team, you guys keep this in mind, the spiritual health class, really any volunteers, you guys are keeping this in mind that when you have those spiritual conversations with moms, you're careful about how you approach them. So spiritual health class, for example, they're saying things like, and once again, you know, we're introducing you all to some of the basics of Christianity, but we know we're on different pages here and that is okay. Wherever you are in your spiritual journey is totally okay. And so they're saying things like that. When uh, family support team members or any volunteer really is having a conversation with a mom and let's say they feel like they should pray for that mom, that's awesome. But just make sure that you do it in a way that is safe emotionally for the mom. It is not forcing anything or assuming anything, but rather an invitation and a tone of, I'm gonna love you anyways, no matter what you believe about Jesus, no matter what you believe about the Bible. So hopefully those give you a couple practical suggestions or examples of what safety can look like at Mary's home. The other videos will be coming out in the next few weeks. I know you're probably sick of seeing me on these videos, so I had other staff members that are gonna be participating as well. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend.